Deciding between Debian and Ubuntu as an operating system for home or business use can be a challenge. Both Linux distributions have their own strengths and weaknesses. In this detailed comparison, we will take a closer look at the differences between Debian and Ubuntu to help make the right choice. Get ready, because now it starts! Debian is a community-developed Linux operating system. Debian was founded in 1993 by Ian Murdoch. Development and support is done by Debian developers with non-commercial intent. The first release was in 1993 and the latest version of Debian is Debian 12 Bookworm. Debian is a technical basis for many other distributions such as Ubuntu, LMDE, Amex Linux or Q4OS. Ubuntu is a Linux distribution based on Debian and is maintained and published by Canonical. Both Canonical and Ubuntu were initiated by the businessman Mark Shuttleworth. The first Ubuntu version was released in 2004. The latest versions of Ubuntu are Ubuntu 2304 as STS, short-term support, and Ubuntu 2204 as LTS, long-term support version. Ubuntu is the technical basis for many other distributions such as Linux Mint, Soren OS, Elementary OS or Ubuntu flavors, for instance official Ubuntu derivatives with other desktop solutions such as KDE or XFCE. We now compare the two offerings. On the one hand from the perspective of the home users and on the other hand from the perspective of companies or self-employed persons. Easy to use. Ubuntu is known for its easy to use and simple installation. It offers an intuitively designed user interface that is suitable for both Linux beginners and experienced users. Ubuntu's default GNOME desktop environment is easy to navigate and offers a modern and appealing look. Debian, on the other hand, may require a little more technical know-how and manual configuration to set up the desktop and applications you want. Debian offers many desktop solutions. Ubuntu only comes with GNOME. If you want to use other desktops with Ubuntu, you have to use one of the Ubuntu flavors like Kubuntu or Xubuntu. Software availability. Both distributions offer access to a wide range of software. Debian has a reputation for having a large number of packages in its official repositories. These packages are maintained and tested by the Debian community. Ubuntu also has an extensive software selection and offers additional packages and repositories provided specially for Ubuntu users. The Ubuntu Software Center facilitates the installation of applications with a user-friendly interface. Updates and release cycle Debian has a more conservative release cycle, which leads to greater stability. New versions are released only after they have been extensively tested. This can lead to some software versions being older in Debian than in Ubuntu. Ubuntu, on the other hand, has regular six-month releases that lead to newer software versions. For home users and those looking for a very stable system, Ubuntu also offers LTS stands for long-term support versions, which provide longer support and the best possible stability. Community and support. Both distros have active and dedicated communities that offers user forums, wikis and other resources for support and help. Debian has a reputation for having a friendly and helpful community, but it may be more technical oriented. Ubuntu has a larger user base and offers a wider range of resources suitable for beginners and less experienced users. Stability and Reliability Debian is valued for its exceptional stability and reliability. It goes through extensive testing and has a more conservative approach to releasing new software versions. This makes Debian the preferred choice for business that require uninterrupted uptime and maximum stability. Ubuntu also offers stability especially in the LTS versions, which are specially designed for enterprise use. Long-term support. Both distributions offers LTS support with long-term support maintenance. These versions receive security updates and bug fixes over a longer period of time. 
This is especially important for companies that need a stable and reliable platform for their business-critical applications. Debian LTS, for example, offers support for up to 5 years, while Ubuntu LTS versions can receive support for up to 10 years. The 10 years consists of regular 5 years LTS support plus 5 years ESM support via an Ubuntu Pro subscription. Ubuntu offers the longer planning period overall. Enterprise-friendly features Ubuntu offers features specially designed for enterprise use. These include a central management tool such as Ubuntu Landscape, which facilitates the installation, configuration and monitoring of systems in a corporate environment. Furthermore, in addition to local user accounts, Ubuntu also offers the connection of a client to an Active Directory environment either on-prem or via Azure. Debian is universally adaptable for individual requirements. Both distributions also support virtualization technologies such as Xen, KVM and Docker to improve the efficiency and scalability of IT infrastructures. Security Both Debian and Ubuntu place great emphasis of security and provide regular security updates. Both distributions support mechanisms such as AppArmor or SE Linux to strengthen system security. Debian has a reputation for being more secure due to its conservative approach and extensive testing. Ubuntu, on the other hand, offers access to newer software versions, but this can increase the risk of bugs or incompatibilities. At the same time, Ubuntu may offer more up-to-date libraries and interfaces than Debian through package upgrades during the product cycle of an LTS version. Let's check the advantages of Debian. Stability. Debian is considered one of the most stable Linux distributions and goes through extensive testing before releasing new versions. Reliability. Debian has a conservative approach to releasing updates resulting in a reliable and secure platform. Wide choice of packages. Debian offers an impressive number of officially supported packages in its repositories maintained by the Debian community. Architecture support. Debian supports a wide range of hardware architectures, making it a flexible choice for different devices. Community-driven project. Debian is supported by a dedicated and volunteer community that provides extensive resources and support. Let's check the disadvantages of Debian. Somewhat steep learning curve. Debian may require a little more technical know-how and experience, especially for Linux newbies. Possibly older software version. Due to Debian's conservative approach, the software versions available in the repositories may be older than in other distributions. Limited commercial support. Debian offers community support, but commercial support options are more limited compared to Ubuntu. Let's check the advantages of Ubuntu. Easy to use. Ubuntu is known for its easy to use and simple installation, making it a popular choice for beginners and home users. Up-to-date software releases. Ubuntu has a regular release leading to new software version, giving access to the latest features and technology. Broad software support. Ubuntu offers an extensive selection of pre-installed applications and supports a wide range of additional software packages. LTS versions. LTS versions of Ubuntu offer long-term support for up to 10 years, which is beneficial for businesses and organizations. Strong community support. Ubuntu has a large and active community that provides extensive resources, forums and help. Let's check the disadvantages of Ubuntu. Possible compromises in stability. Due to regular releases and new software versions, Ubuntu can be slightly less stable than Debian. Fewer configuration options. Ubuntu emphasizes easy of use, which may result in less customizability and control compared to Debian. Optional proprietary software. 
Ubuntu offers the possibility to select proprietary software and drivers during installation, which can be a disadvantage for some open source purists. But to be honest, Debian also now offers the choice to install non-free firmware during the installation process. Last but not least, Snap. Ubuntu pushes its own software container format, Snap. This is used almost exclusively on Ubuntu systems, while most other distributions use the alternative Flatpak. The criticism of Snap is that the software-side infrastructure is a black box for many and its source code is not fully open-source software. It is important to note that the advantages and disadvantages of Ubuntu and Debian depend heavily on individual needs, experience and specific requirements. However, both distributions are popular and provide a solid foundation for Linux. Both distros are suitable for servers and desktops. While Debian is the universal operating system, a Debian version can be installed as a server as well as a desktop. With Ubuntu, this is handled differently. There is always an Ubuntu desktop and an Ubuntu server edition. The difference is, to make it short, that Ubuntu desktop is the Ubuntu server with a graphical interface and more software pre-installed. Debian is a universal community distro. There is no monetary intentions behind Debian, no profit-oriented company. Debian is not innovative. Debian is consistency and reliability. Ubuntu is an enterprise distro. Behind Ubuntu is a company that has a lot of manpower, but at the same time pursue its own interests and implements its own ideas. The innovation in Ubuntu lies in the interim version, also called as STS versions. Here, new technology is introduced and brought to market maturity for the next LTS version. Ultimately, the choice between Debian and Ubuntu for home users and enterprise customers depend on individual needs and preferences. Ubuntu is often the preferred choice for home users looking for a user-friendly Linux distro, while Debian may be more attractive for experienced Linux users who want the maximum control. For businesses that value stability, long-term support and enterprise-friendly features, both Debian and Ubuntu offer solid options for professional use. With Ubuntu, honestly, there is the option of purchasing professional manufacturer support. The planability of Ubuntu LTS exceeds that of Debian noticeably. I hope this comparison could help you to make a decision. If so, which distro did you choose and why? Please let us know in the comments, I'm curious. If you like watching Linux videos, this is now your chance. There is an extensive archive here and more are added regularly. Just leave a free channel subscription, click the thumbs up once and activate the bell. Then you'll be well supplied. Thanks for the kind attention. See you in the next video if you want. Peace, ladies and gentlemen.